So if you have, say, edema or swelling of a limb, sometimes that can be from an old injury that's never quite healed right, and you have persistent fluid or swelling in there. Swelling is can be a sign of injury, but a lot of times it's also just things getting stuck in between spaces. Our body is not a perfect system. So when blood perfuses our tissues, it's bringing nutrients to the cells, they do their thing, and then it gets turned into metabolic waste that's supposed to make it back to our circulation system. Just like imagine if you're in your house and you turn on the faucet, you're showering, you shower, and it goes down into your drain. So it's coming out of your circulation system, it's going into your cell, and then it's going back into the circulation system to be cleaned and reused again. Well, if you get out of the shower, some of that water falls off of you. It's now on the floor and it just hangs out there. Well, if you're a Neanderthal and you leave the door open in your shower and all that water is coming out of the shower, it's staying stuck outside of the system. This is what's happening with fluid in our bodies is if you do not move perpetually and kind of push that water back into the shower stall or can go back into the drain and be put back into circulation, that water hangs out on the floor of the bathroom, so to speak. That water is hanging out in between your cells and your tissues where it's basically now taking up space and making it harder for your body to perform its function. So we have to get that water out of, out of the floor back into the system. How do we get it out of stock between our tissues and back into our circulation system? And that is with motion and compression. When we activate our muscles, we are using mechanical pumps. Those muscles are pushing against the cells and much like sponges, everything around them is kind of being squeezed and relaxed and squeezed and relaxed. This is creating motion and a current and pushing fluid that is stuck between our tissues into our lymphatic system or our drainage system. If, however, we're not active enough or say if you sustain an injury that's kind of persisting, then you can provide your own mechanical pumps from the outside via compression. Self-massage is an easy way to do that especially if you are creating a directional massage, you're encouraging fluid to be traveling towards your trunk where it gets reabsorbed into your circulation system. But something else that you can do is the Voodoo Floss. The Voodoo Floss is designed almost like a tourniquet where the goal is not to cut off blood flow, but say if I have fluid or if I had an old injury, say I have elbow tendonitis, where my forearms are so tight that it's starting to pull, creating injury, which leads to inflammation. If that inflammation is taking up all that space, it's hard for blood to get into that area to heal tissues. So that inflammation winds up becoming just an aggregate of cellular waste. And if there's so much trash in the driveway, I can't get in to deliver the groceries. So I need to clean up the trash or push it out of the way so I can get the groceries in. So garbage out, groceries in. So I'm going to take the voodoo floss, apply it with pressure such that I am able to encourage the inflammation to leave because I'm creating all of this mechanical compression. And once I take the voodoo floss off, there is now this big opportunity for blood to come rushing in and perfuse the area. So by using self-massage or compression, I can actually speed up healing and in the case of lingering injuries, finalize the healing process for something that's been persisting for potentially months on end.